What's up world? This is Will Willa back at it again with another video. Today I will be unboxing my new soundbar. Uh, this is a Samsung soundbar. It's the 4 Series HWK450. Uh, they have a 250, 450, 550. Um, I got this one specifically from Best Buy. I'll put a link in the description um, to this sub and soundbar combo uh so i chose this one because it sounded amazing in a very open space um if you've been to best buy before you know best buy is huge um so the clarity the bass the the just amazingness of this sub uh was just remarkable um even without the rear um, speakers because you can get more speakers to go behind your um, behind you um, but just this by itself was just amazing so um, I chose this one it's very affordable uh, I have a 5.1 setup right now where I have um, six, six uh, five speakers and then a sub um, but it's just not doing the job it doesn't get very loud um, so when I'm playing some battlefield I'm not as immersed as I would like to because uh, I don't always want to wear my Turtle Beach headset. So let's just get right into it. Uh, I'll do a review video separately from this specific video. Um, so look out for that. I'll um, try to um, put the link in the description and make that video as soon as possible. As long as it is um, wanted. So let's go and open it up. So this should be where the sub is. I mean, I'm like... A thousand percent sure <laughs> uh, unless it's a foldable I'm just kidding um, so let's pop it right open so I'll probably have to open it on this side and the other side um, so I guess I'm just pull this out like this all right so here's the sub uh, the cables remotes all right cables and remotes all right here probably the yeah, cable remote. So, and then this is the size, see? So it has a little flap here. Yes. That. That. Um, maybe I should just uh, flip it over. That's what I'll do. I'll close this back. Let's close this back. Yeah, flip it over. There we go. Tape. I don't want to actually cut the, the soundboard itself. So um, it's nice that this will actually um, match my smart TV. Wasn't a big factor, but I mean, it's cool that it does. Um, so here's the soundbar itself. Doesn't even fit on the on the screen. <laughs> Sit the box off to the side. All right, so um, there we go. It's not. It's not heavy. I don't know why I made it sound like it was heavy. I don't know. No idea. All right, so here is the sound bar itself. Looks like mounting brackets back here. Pretty sure these are mounting brackets, but. I don't think there's any mountain brush. Feels like there's mounts here. There's a mount here. Um, maybe for the wall, but we'll go into depth. So here is. So it goes up like this. It doesn't go with the Samsung facing. It goes up like that. All right. So let's slide this off to the side. Open the subwoofer. Pretty large subwoofer compared to my current one. Ooh. So it looks like this is a gloss finish here. It has a gloss finish here with the Samsung logo on here. Let me not many people are going to be touching it, 
other than me. Uh, but there's some indicators here, power, and then looks like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Um, this is a Bluetooth setup, so I can have this subwoofer wherever I would like, as long as I have an outlet. So there's the plug here um, to plug the power into, and then here is the reset button. So like if I need to reset the Bluetooth or anything like that. So here's the vents, so it doesn't overheat. And this is, most likely this part is the amp, the amp and um, all like, everything the power the amp uh, the, where the battery is and stuff like that um, yeah so let's see what wires comes in here let's see what the remote looks like so here's the remote um, I have a universal remote so I'll um, up uh, put the soundbar on my universal remote remote so here is, there we go, here is a remote, here, nice simple um, setup, I don't really like that it's the, the small battery, but it is what it is, I won't be using it, so hopefully the battery doesn't run out, and it won't explode like the traditional um, AA, AAA D batteries. So it comes with the op optical cable here. Take this out because I will need to anyways. So here's the optical cable. Cable. <laughs> so um, if you don't know, optical cables are made out of glass, glass fibers that transmit light um, in order to send a signal. Here's the um, pack for most likely the subwoofer itself. Yeah, most likely the subwoofer, uh, because I believe this may give out the most um, amount of power, so it might be for the subwoofer. But I'll look at the um, directions to make sure I hook it up to the right thing. So it comes with two power cables, one L-shaped, and then one rec uh, oh, both both L-shaped. It looked like one was not L-shaped. Here we go. And then let's look at the mounting brackets. So these may be for the uh, soundbar itself. I really hope so. Because I will be mounting it on the wall. Because I don't want it sitting down. So here's the mounting bracket. Here's one. And most likely the other one looks like that too. Yep. So here's the mounting brackets here. So, yeah. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Um, there will be a review video soon of this um, this system. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. <laughs> Comment down below what you thought of the video. Um, if you got a soundbar recently or have a soundbar, tell me which one you have. Uh, I'll look it up and check it out. This is Will Willa. I'll catch you later. Peace.